So I'm going to start off by using liquid latex and I'm just applying that with a small sponge. I got this latex from Spirit of Halloween. Uh, this is their brand. Um, I actually like Mehran better but I couldn't find that. So I'm going with this. So pretty much I'm just kind of outlining where I would want the skin flap to be. So I'm just applying that uh, latex on my face and then I'm gonna take some cotton and I'm gonna apply the cotton over the latex and just apply it wherever you have the latex apply a layer of cotton onto it if your cotton is thick spread it out a little with your hands and then apply it over the latex that way it's not gonna be too too clumpy Once you apply the first layer of cotton, apply another layer of latex over the cotton. Now I'm applying second layer of cotton over the latex. So um, I did three layers of cotton and three layers of latex on my second layer because it was getting too thick and sticky i had to use a blow dryer to dry it faster so i can go in with my third layer once you're done applying all your layers and they're dried down you you want to pull the part where you want the flap to be off of your skin because the latex is stick to your skin you just want to pull the part where you want the flap to be off of your real skin so it looks uh, more realistic and then i went in with some small scissors and i cut out some of the uh, skin flap that i created on my skin because some of the parts were a little too long and i didn't like it so i went in and i cut them and then using my fingers i stretched out the um, flap a little bit that way it looks like it was my, my skin is stretched out Now I'm taking this scar wax that I got from Spirit of Halloween store and I'm just molding this with my hands and then I'm gonna take this and apply it next to where my I did this skin flap. This way it doesn't look like it's just my skin and then the flap. It, this kind of makes it look more realistic so just apply this next to the flap and then with using your fingers kind of push it onto your skin so it looks like it's your real skin but it's like damaged and like um, torn apart kind of I'm so sorry guys, I really suck at explaining things, so if you have any questions, just like comment below, maybe I can answer you better if you actually ask me the question, but pretty much this is self-explanatory, you can just look and see what I'm doing, it's not that difficult. Now I'm using this color wheel from Ben Nye and I'm picking up the dark purple shade and the dark burgundy shade and I'm mixing these two shades together and applying it all over one side of my face and make sure to apply a little onto your ears all over your face make sure you're not missing any spots and bring it down a little bit onto your neck as well. Now take the liquid latex again and apply this in 
small sections and once you're done applying the latex do the same thing take a layer of cotton and apply it over the latex we're only gonna do one layer of this and we'll let it dry completely before we do anything else to it this will make it look like the muscles under your skin are showing and like the skin is gone and it's pretty much muscle and blood and once you're done applying the cotton onto the half of your face you can use your blow dryer to dry the latex a little faster Now go ahead and apply one last layer of latex over the cotton. As you can see, I let some of the cotton around my chin area hanging a little longer. What this is gonna do is it's gonna make it look like our skin has uh, fallen off of our face. And you can use a blow dryer to dry the latex faster. Now I'm using my L'Oreal 24 Hour Stay uh, foundation and I'm applying that with a sponge all over the skin flap that I have created. I did the makeup for my other half of the face off camera. Now from the same color wheel I'm picking up the brighter red and I'm applying this all over the side of my face make sure you're getting this all over your face so you don't have any little white spots because the latex was white so you want to make sure that you get this red all over and you kind of have to push it into the latex because it has a lot of texture and sometimes it's hard to apply it and make sure it's all over the latex so you kind of have to push in the color with your brush and make sure you don't forget to bring down the red onto your neck now i'm using my makeup forever's cream colors i broke the actual palette so i transferred it into these little things so i'm picking up that red shade and i'm like randomly applying this all over the side of my face and then apply this around your eye area so it looks like it's really um fragile and it's like really the skin is really really thin around your eye also apply some of that red onto the skin flap Now I'm taking this beautiful blush from Milani and I'm applying this with a blush brush onto the flap. Uh, it just makes it look more realistic if you use that. You don't have to use the same blush I am using. Just find something similar to this blush and apply it onto the skin flap. It just makes it look a lot more realistic. Now I'm taking this Tick Blood by Ben Nye and I'm just taking a little bit of this with a brush or whatever you feel comfortable using. Just pick it up a little bit and randomly apply it all over the side of your face. There's some parts where I applied it a little thicker and then other parts I applied it thinner. You just want to give your face as much texture as you can. So just apply it randomly all over your face.
Now I'm taking Mehran's stage blood and I don't know what that little thing I'm holding is called. It's this like weird textured sponge thingy that you can find in any Halloween store. So I'm pretty much using that. So take the blood and apply it onto the little sponge and then apply it with that sponge all over your face. And this is just going to give you that weird a texture and it will also make it look more realistic than it already looks also make sure that you apply this blood with the sponge onto the skin flap this is what really brings the whole look together it makes it look more realistic and I pretty much just applied it wherever I felt like I needed a little more blood I went down to my neck a little bit around my forehead ears just wherever you need more blood apply it and some more blood i'm using vampire blood now so with the same sponge i'm focusing this blood mostly from my chin down because this is a very thin blood it's very runny what this is gonna do is it's gonna give me that dripping blood look so i'm gonna apply as much as i can onto the neck area so it's gonna after a few minutes it's gonna start dripping down my neck I know, I know, this is pretty disgusting, but I made these maggots myself. I can find a tutorial on how to make maggots online and I'll link it down below for you guys. Making the maggots was what took the most time. It took me around an hour and a half to two hours just making the maggots but anyways what i'm doing with the maggots now is i'm just pretty much picking them up with some tweezers and applying it randomly all over the side of my face you don't really need to use any sort of uh, glue or um, anything to uh, put them onto your skin because the blood is already so sticky and also like the latex that we already have on our skin and the maggots themselves are made out of latex as well so they're pretty sticky so you don't really need anything else to make them any stickier so just apply them all over your skin and um, that's pretty much it 